In this hand, I have bamboo, and in this hand, I have 3D printed titanium. And I'm going to make the case that these are the same. Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian, I'm a structural engineer, and how on earth are bamboo and 3D printed titanium the same thing? Okay, hear me out. I'm going to start with an example from a great book that inspired me as I was entering Cambridge University in England to study engineering. It's called Invention and Evolution. It starts with an interesting thought study. Take three things, a waterfall, a buttercup, and a train. Which is the odd one out? We could probably just immediately say train, because it's the only man-made one of the three. We could also argue that it's the buttercup, because that's the only one that's alive. But the interesting one to pick is the waterfall, because the buttercup and the train have evidence of design. They have a purpose and they are designed for that purpose. A buttercup, after all, is designed and exists to grow and to propagate. And a train is designed to move people and goods. So let's think about what the benefit is of design thinking. I taught structural design at MIT and Harvard for many years, and one of the key lessons I started with is showing the typical way that people are taught structural design, which is a cantilever beam and you're asked to size the beam. That's not structural design, that's structural analysis. It's important, but it's also automatable and anyone can do it. The real problem is to think, I have a force, I have a place to take it back to, what now? Structural design is not sizing a beam, it's deciding whether to have a beam in the first place. Equally, design thinking is what are we going to do using the resources we have to reach the end goal. And with that, typically comes better solutions for all of us. So what's going on with bamboo? Bamboo is absolutely fascinating as a material. What you've got is a set of very high strength fibers that are aligned along the bamboo, which is the way it grows. And those fibers are very strong in tension. Great. The shape of bamboo is tubular. And the tubular shape is the best shape for taking compression and shear and bending and torsion. In fact, it, it didn't move because that's how good it is. On top of all of that, the bamboo fibers are positioned more dense as they get to the outer extremities of this bamboo tubular shape. And that's where the fibers are most needed. This is an unbelievably great example of design for purpose. And here we've got this 3D printed titanium piece. It's actually a connection on a design project I worked on. We needed to do 100 unique connections for variable glass pieces. And the key part about this was using 3D printed metal technology and printing and creating, in a design, an optimized form for each location. You can see actually all of the metal is placed along the lines of principal stress related to the wind loads that would hit on the glass. But not only that, similar to the bamboo, where there's material placement, material overall form, this piece is hollow. It's not solid like you would get from a metal casting. It's hollow. It's just one and a half millimeters thin. And that makes it incredibly lightweight and a very efficient use of material. So we have bamboo and 3D printed metal that I think we can now all agree are the same. And most of all, what I deeply care about for all of us who have anything to do with the physical world, whether you're a biologist, whether you're a structural engineer, an architect, or anyone designing and creating in the physical space, is the ability to think about design, about systems and design of those systems and material and placement of that material leads to far better end design solutions than if we just go about things thinking that they don't really matter or they're not very different to each other and we just repeat what's been done before. We can always do better with design thinking. If you like this, like and subscribe. See ya.